Ugandan electric vehicle made by Ugandans for Uganda is, is a very important aspect. And I think it's a great step towards a green economy transition. And in Uganda, as urbanization increases, we have creation of new districts across the country. It is necessary that the environmental impact that is caused by uh, the normal cars should be reduced. Uganda is, is definitely a first mover for the continent. It's Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, they have their own assembly line, but it's mainly assembly, it's not production. So Uganda saw a very clear opportunity to step into this market, first of all with electric vehicles, but second of all also to uh, provide half products for the factories in the neighboring countries. It expected that by 2030, the import to East Africa will be over 600,000 vehicles. So clearly, there's a very high demand. At the moment, the import bill for vehicles is around 450 million US dollars annually. Um, the import bill for petroleum is 1.3 billion US dollars annually. There's clearly a big economic burden at the moment on, on the countries that potentially can be lifted by building these vehicles in-house. And also, at the moment, the current estimations made by Kira Motors is that the vehicles will not be significantly more expensive than imported from, from, from other countries. Uganda has made some significant strides in undertaking a process of establishing a policy and institutional framework that is conducive for green growth. The challenge is to ensure that it is affordable for the normal Uganda. On average, a person spends about 50% of their income on transport. Estimations of the government for annual loss due to traffic jams is around 800 million US annually. So the economic loss of the current modes of transport is, is enormous. There's a huge opportunity in Kampala alone, and then we're not talking yet about the secondary cities. Mm -hmm.